Here we're going to talk about basic reporting. So if you want to start and create a new report, at the top here you go to the reports tab and you say new report. Immediately a new report opens up, blank on the right hand side and all the options on the left. So where do you begin? In order to make life easier, start by first defining the type of report that you want. So, do you want an A4 portrait, etc., etc.? So, at the bottom here, you've got the layout menu and you've got the master page. When you click on the master page, it gives you the option to see where the headers are as well as the footers of the document. In the general properties at the bottom, you will see here that the orientation is set to automatic. You can change that to whatever you want. In this case, the type is US letter. If you want an A4 document, change it to A4. You can click save when you've made changes. At the same time, while we're talking about the master page, you can add a header and a footer if you wish. Dynamic text is very good for this. So if I go to the dynamic text, I can add specific, uh, for example, the author of the document to be filled out as the smart user that's logged in here. I can align it, for example, to the right, and this will then be as a watermark in the background. Same with the bottom as the footer. If I would like page numbers, I can add pages or pages so many of, so many in the document. So I'm just going to use page and I'm going to align it to the right hand side of the document and make it bold. Once I'm happy, I click save. Now we can go back to the layout and actually explore the layout of how we're going to do our document. On the left hand side, you've got palette, data explorer and resource explorer tabs. The main one that you're going to use is the palette tab. Here is where all the report items are available to you. Label, text, dynamic text, etc, etc. Going down to the map, what we normally do is we normally start with grids. Grids help to organize your information and to present your data in a logical manner. So when you click on grid, you can drag it across in and let go. You can change the number of columns and the number of rows. To begin with, let's start with three by one. In the middle, we're going to add a title, so that would be a text. So if I click on text, I can bring it to the middle. You'll see that it wants to put it into this cell here, which I will, that's where I'll do it. Give my report a title. I can change the format, the font, the color, etc. at the bottom here. So whenever I want to click on the, an element, I can change the properties at the bottom. As a title, nice and big, in the middle. Okay. Save the document. On the left hand side, I would like to add logos. In order to add logos, it's best to add it as an embedded image. So what you want to do is where you've got embedded images at the bottom here, you right click and you say new embedded image. This would typically be, for example, a logo or something that you would use constantly. I'm going to now just add a logo quickly. Here it is here. So if I want to add a logo here, I just click on image, click in the specific block, and I'll have four options where it says embedded image, I will choose the specific logo. Then I can just resize it holding the shift and that I would like. You are now beginning your report. If you'd like to center it, click on the grid that is there and center it at the bottom. Whenever you want to do something to an element, click on that specific element. At the bottom you'll have your properties. General padding, border, user properties.